It is December 10th. Brennan and I just finished up down here on his Iowa farms, getting ready for late muds here in a couple weeks. Uh, move cameras around, stand, set some blinds. And now we are en route to my buddy's place. Luke was uh, nice enough to invite us down, hunt his place for the next week down in Oklahoma. Um, so we're super excited. He's got uh, quite a bit of ground and uh, he's been running cameras for us pretty much all fall, but this is like the first time that we could really get down here with our schedule. So we're gonna eat some jacks and uh, we only got about like seven, seven and a half hours from here and uh, we'll be there. So we're gonna hit the road and uh, we'll see you in Oklahoma. about an hour, hour and a half out, We're waiting on cashier approval, but we are overdressed. It's like in the 70s down here. We just came from Iowa and it was like 30s. So we're gonna be there here shortly. It's gonna feel good. It was only like seven, seven and a half hours, but it's long enough. Ready for a good shower and bed. And then Luke's actually gonna roll in tomorrow midday and kind of show us around and hopefully be in a tree tomorrow night. So we're going to gas up and finish the trek. There you go, mate. You go up about another mile and you'll see that little house on the right. And there's going to be a bridge and there's going to be in here. Right through there. Actually, I ain't just one of them got hit the other day. So nine deer right by the bridge, you're saying, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now there's probably going to be eight because one of them got cremated. Oh, yeah. So, huh. where, where are you see any deer? No, we haven't seen one yet. I think you're bullshitting us. Yeah, I must be. He's <laughs> blowing or anything, so wind's <laughs> howling where I'm at. No, we're trying to I film you and you're talking like trash. I am? Yeah. <laughs> watch, good. watch the swear words. Are you going <laughs> to bridge yet? Uh, I don't know if I crossed the bridge or not yet. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Finally made her to Oklahoma. Had to have a little navigating from Luke to help us get here, but found his place finally. So we are gonna unpack. He's actually changed his plans around. So he's gonna roll in like real early tomorrow morning, which is nice because he's gonna be able to show us around and uh, pull some cards tomorrow midday and uh, everything won't be so rushed. So. We are going to get unpacked and probably shower and, and hit the bed here pretty early so we can get some good sleep and uh, hopefully start off on a good note tomorrow and see what Oklahoma has to offer. So let's do it. We'll let him get his Luke Palmer himself. Yeah. All right, it is uh, December, I think it's 11th now. Yeah, morning of December 11th. We slept in, got some good sleep last night. Luke got in like four o'clock this morning. He had some fishing stuff to do all week. Had a long drive himself. So we are gonna head into town. We're gonna get some cough. Brennan needs his coffee and uh, maybe some breakfast. And then Luke's gonna go to work till probably noon. And then he's gonna take us around, pull some cards. We did pull some cards uh, last night, and uh, from what we've seen, we got some good deer running around. So those were from uh, a week ago. So when we pull cards today, that'll be our most recent intel. So pretty excited to get in a blind or a tree this afternoon. Weather's perfect. Yesterday was like 80s. Today's only like a high of low 50s. So like a 30 degree temperature change. So these deer should move tonight. We just gotta pick the right spot. So we're gonna run to town, get some breakfast, and then uh, come back, shoot some bow. We hadn't even done the feeder. There he 
he would get waxed so hard. That's like seven or eight steps from the blind. <laughs> what do you got going on, Luke? Yeah, well, we're going to uh, set out these once in a lifetime hunters out and we're going to check them out. We got good possibility. We got a couple of good deer on film for them. So uh, I'm hoping uh, somebody doesn't choke tonight. So we're going to get it going. <laughs> I don't know who's not going to choke. I don't know who could. I talk. don't know who the choking guy is, but we're not going to say any names. But he's over here on my right side. <laughs> no fingers. Get your ass in the truck. <laughs> All right, night one. Let's do this thing. We got a nice chauffeur. Uh, literally, he's gonna probably drive us almost right to the blind because these deer are used to used to him and his dad being back there with the cattle a lot. So that's the plan. We're gonna slip in there. It's like three thirty right now, and uh, it gets dark a couple hours. So I'm gonna head in there. Hope for the best. There's a couple good bucks showing up. One was in there this morning. So hopefully, shows back up tonight. And, First night in, we kill. What do you think about that? That's the <laughs> ideal. Ideal, ideal. It's December 11th, I believe, today. We are finally in a blind here in Oklahoma and just sitting up. Absolute beautiful spot here. My buddy Luke Balmer was nice enough to invite us down and have free reign of his his whole property here for the next five days. And uh, it's just an awesome looking property. He's been running cameras all fall and uh, getting some good inventory. There's a couple of really nice bucks here. And they've kind of just been hitting all these different spots. He's got like five different spots picked out for us. And, and these bucks are just... They're still on that back end of the rut down here, and they're still cruising and bumping toes and, and hitting these spots. So pretty much just got to hope we get lucky and, and one messes up at, at the spot we're at. So we're sitting in the spot tonight overlooking this wheat field. Had a really nice buck in here, actually broad daylight this morning at like 9 o'clock. He looked like he went off into this thick bedding area here. So with any luck, we can get him to come back out and feed in here this afternoon. But... Uh, Nonetheless, took about a week off. We're back at it, ready to finish the season out strong. So let's get to it. Hope for the best and, and uh, wrap a tag around a good Oklahoma buck.
us about 10 opportunities at like 20 yards. We were pretty much wanting him to get to one certain spot. That's dead calm. And he just never got to that one spot. There were deer that were getting a little sketched out. He kind of turned, was like walking away. So I figured, well, I should try and draw it. I mean, it's still only 22 yards, maybe. Went to draw, and there's a deer closer to us. And you can't get away with anything. It's literally no wind at all. He must have heard me draw. He kind of boogered a little bit. And that, that big one, he didn't know what was going on. He just kind of walked off. going on about two o'clock right now we just got back to the truck so what we did we pretty much we're pretty much straight across from where we were last night wind will be blowing back into some thicker stuff but not down the plot where we think he comes from check the cards he was there of course this morning we debated for probably two hours last night if we should hunt but it's just it's hard getting into spots like this in the morning when there's deer already there so we played it safe. He was there daylight, which is what he did yesterday morning, and then he was there last night. So we're hoping he does it again tonight. We got a perfect setup. We were actually able to get up in a tree, which is awesome. That's what we wanted, and um, we got high hopes. All we need to do is have him do it one more night, and he's going to be in trouble. So we grabbed the bow, and pretty much everything's already in the tree. We just got to pretty much walk back to the tree now, get in there, and we're going to be in plenty early and uh, hopefully, hopefully he messes up and we can put an Oklahoma tag on him.
Hey guys, welcome back to another first sight in the field. As you can see, I'm up here at Camp Dink in North Dakota. Just wrapped up an awesome hunt down in Oklahoma, and I just kind of want to run you through one of the layering systems that I was using down there. Right now, as you can see, I have on the Merino Kiln by First Light. This was exactly what I was wearing in Oklahoma, and over the top of that, all I ran was the Catalyst jacket. But with this Merino Kiln underneath that Catalyst jacket, I was able to stay warm out of the wind. It was pretty windy that night I killed. It's super lightweight, so it wasn't too, too hot. We were talking temperatures right in like the upper 50s, low 60s. It was super nice. It's got this pocket here. A lot of people put phones in there, but that's actually where I kept my wireless mic. Um, just worked out super slick. So if you haven't already, head on over to firstlight.com and pick yourself up one of these Merino kilns. It's going on about 420 right now. Had pretty good action already this afternoon. Just had like two adult does, four or five little ones with them. One little spiker came in. But uh, we've seen more deer cross and back and forth across the food plot too. So I got a feeling things are gonna get weird here pretty soon. Pretty sure I heard shot him, dude. You gonna go down? He 
she's just pouring. Go down. Go down. Go down. laying over here at like 25. I'm gonna go over there and pick that up and see if we can see any blood at first shot and then I'm just gonna ease on out of here and go talk with Luke and probably give him at least an hour or two before we go in and pick up the blood trail just to be safe. So go see what this arrow looks like. We just uh, got done watching footage. Luke got done ranching. So uh, he watched the footage, figures the same thing. We're gonna go in after him and hopefully recover him. He bled like crazy. So that's what we're kind of banking on is that he didn't make it much farther than we last seen him. So we're gonna go in there. It's been, well, by the time we get back there, it's gonna be about two hours since I shot him. So with a shot like that, he's either dead or he's not gonna be dead, so. He's gonna be dead. We got back in now. All right. We got there I like out. it. Let's see if the blood trail. Let's go get this blood deer. Let's okay. Go. Let's go get it. Let's go get him. I'm ready. Better bring bush lights for the truck. Yeah, that's no, true. No bush lights. No? <laughs> you don't think so, huh? We're going hardcore. All right. Bud light. I guess we'll wait until we get back. Just got in back to where we shot him. We're not gonna pick up right from where I shot him, but we know where he crossed the fence. So we're gonna go there. He looked like he was just dumping blood out, so we should be able to find it. And hopefully he's not too far. It gets real thick in here, Luke said, so hopefully he just went in a little ways and piled up. So we'll pick up the blood and see what we got. He's right there, dead, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck you, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Heck yeah. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I've never seen a trail like this in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's right there. He literally made it 15 yards farther than we seen him. Holy man. <laughs> Let's go see this, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, he's a magnum. <laughs> he's a freaking toad. Yeah, he's been dead since. Oh man, just a slammer. <laughs> well, it is December the 12th, and uh, finally, finally let an arrow fly for the fall. It's been a, 
a grind of a season between Brennan and I. We've traveled all over the place and uh, he was able to finally connect on a couple here in the last month and then got the invite from a really good buddy of mine, Luke Palmer, to come down and hunt his family ground down here in Oklahoma. And we talked about it for the last probably seven, eight months and uh, was just waiting to come down here and, and get a chance to hunt. And he had everything set up just perfect. And we came down, we actually just started hunting yesterday <laughs> and had a super awesome hunt with this deer. We had them at like 20 yards and things just didn't line up the way we wanted them to. So we, we watched them walk off and it was a tough pill to swallow, but uh, we made a few moves a day and actually just set up straight across from where we were yesterday. And uh, sure enough, he came out, fed in the food plot, watched him for like 35 minutes and presented me a 20 yard shot quarter and away. And, and uh, we weren't sure on the shot right away, but he didn't make it 15 yards farther than where we lost uh, footage of him. So couldn't be happier. It feels good to finally punch a tag for the year. And again, huge shout out to Luke for letting me come down here and hunt his family ground. And big shout out to Brennan. He's been traveling with me all fall and he's always there ready to rock and roll. And uh, just big shout out again to my, my friends and family back home. I'm on the road doing this a lot and without them, with the support that they give me, I wouldn't be able to do this. So feels good. We're gonna probably uh, have a few beverages and watch the Packers tonight down here in Oklahoma and, and celebrate. But what a deer, what a hunt. And to get to do it with some awesome buddies right here, it's, it's gonna be a good one.